Use of JSON has exploded over the last several years, and Altova continues to add new JSON features with each update of XML Spy. The latest addition is the ability to query and process JSON using XPath, XQuery, and XSLT. Support for processing JSON data within XQuery is handled using maps and arrays, which were added in XQuery 3.1. A sequence of lookup operators and keys can be combined, along with other elements from the XQuery syntax, to create queries capable of pulling and manipulating large chunks of data from your JSON documents. XML Spy enables developers to quickly explore and query JSON data directly from the editor, utilizing an interactive query builder and evaluator. With a JSON file loaded, the query window can be opened by selecting the XPath XQuery tab at the bottom of the message window. The tab has two panes, one to build out queries and one to see the results in real time. The query window has two evaluation modes for handling data, one for XML and one for JSON which can be toggled in the toolbar. The evaluation mode will be automatically selected based on the current active document, but you may need to use the button if you want to query against multiple files. Let's explore how this new approach to querying JSON works. XQuery 3.1 has introduced a new operator for accessing maps and arrays which we will need to use to process JSON. The lookup operator, a question mark, is used to retrieve array members located at a specific position in an array or map values associated with a specific key in the map. To access elements within the structure, you need to include both the lookup operator and the key for the respective record. The key can be represented as a string when accessing maps, an integer when accessing arrays, or an asterisk when looking for all data. In this example, we will aim to build a query that displays a list of all of the album names in the sample file and then add on to that query to filter for only those in a specific genre. As we start entering the query, you will see the results immediately appear in the evaluator pane. First, we see a list of structures containing all albums, then a list of structures with details about those albums, and finally a list of album names stored as an array of strings. Now that we have a list of albums, it's time to set up a filter. XQuery provides the functionality for fast inline filtering by utilizing paths and strings within brackets. After the asterisk that retrieved all albums, let's add a pair of brackets to specify a conditional. This will be a path to genres and a filter for pop. Once this is typed in, you will immediately notice that the result count has been reduced. Change the filter to another genre, say rock, and let's see how the results change. Once you get used to this new syntax of the lookup operator, you can also construct more complex XQuery flower expressions. You will find demonstrations of these in the examples folder. The ability to query JSON data in XML Spy has also been extended to support XSL transformations. Style sheets can be built out utilizing the data structures syntax and applied against a JSON file. Open the music library XSL file included in the examples project. You will note that the only difference between this and a comparable XML transformation is that you query using array syntax rather than XML syntax. Iteration and display of information is the same. With the XSLT document open, click the XSL transformation button in the toolbar or press F10. The transformation will run, and an output HTML document will be opened in XML Spy's browser view. Additional XPath and XQuery training is available on the Altova website. A link to this, along with a handy primer video, can be found in the description below. Querying and transformation of JSON documents is a subset of the many features that make XML Spy one of the most advanced tools for JSON development. Learn more by downloading a free 30-day trial from www.altova.com.